this video, we take a look at Granada, the amazing Moorish city in Andalusia. Bienvenido a Granada. Bienvenidos a Granada. Bienvenido a Granada. Coming up in this video, we take a tour of the famous Alhambra, enjoy incredible views at the Mirador de San Nicolas, which by the way, is known as one of Granada's most iconic viewpoints. We visit Albaicín, the Moorish quarter, also Sacramonte, the origins of flamenco and in the Sacramonte hills, the old cave dwellings. We walk along beside the Darrow River to Paseo de los Tristes, the walk of the sad ones and talk about free city guides free tapas, and of course, the beautiful cathedral. Granada is the capital city of the province of Granada, in the autonomous community of Andalusia in southern Spain. It is located at the foot of the Sierra Nevada mountains, and one of the most popular cities for tourist visitors in Spain. From Malaga, Granada is just under two hours by bus or just one hour and 20 minutes by high-speed train. The tram connects both the bus and high-speed train station to the center of the city. It is also worth mentioning that taxis are relatively cheap in Granada and are a great alternative. Granada is so beautiful that you should definitely include it as a place to go when visiting Andalusia. The name Granada in Spanish means pomegranate, an important symbol in Spanish history for years and is the official motif or heraldic symbol of the city. In fact, you can see references to pomegranates wherever you go in the city. Bear in mind that in July and August, it can be very hot and also busy. Please make sure that you book tours in advance. The city is easy to navigate on foot but can be hilly in places, so take a bus or taxi if you do not like walking, or if it is too hot. We start with the Alhambra, a 13th century Moorish palace and fortress, and undoubtedly the crown jewel of Granada. Although it is a bit of a climb, if you have time, you can take a scenic walk to the Alhambra meeting point from La Plaza Nueva.
we are going to take a walk along beside the Rio Daro from Plaza Santa Ana to Paseo de los Tristes. This is a beautiful walk alongside the river with ancient bridges, flamenco shows, restaurants, bars with patios and views of the Alhambra high above. Paseo de los Tristes is a place where ancient processions, particularly funerals heading to the cemetery, used to pass. From here, you can walk up the cobbled streets or take a bus to one of the most popular viewpoints in Granada, the Mirador de San Nicolás. Granada has an unmistakably Moorish flavour. It was after all the last city to be reconquered by the Catholic monarchs in 1492. Its food, crafts and urban landscapes are shaped by its glorious historical past. Apart from the old Moorish silk market and Granada's Grand Bazaar, there are many streets like this one with many shops, some with locally made items. are definitely worth considering. At the top of this street, we will join one of these tours for a moment to hear about an interesting church that was built in place of a Muslim mosque. So, I wanted to bring you here because this is a good example of a church made on top of an old mosque. Why? Because, because we still can see the minarets of the mosque. Can you see it? Mm. And later they added the bells. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, at some point, Muslims, they had to become Christians. Mm. In the case of Granada, that happened in 1502. So Muslims became new Christians. They were all baptized and uh, they had to go to church. Mosque became churches. Mm. Normally they would transform the mosque into a church, make space for the new chapels, but later at some point they would destroy them, the mosque, and use the space available to make a church. Why? Because cities were made within the city walls, so if they wanted to have a church in the city, they needed room. And for that, they destroyed the mosque and made the church. In some cases, they kept the garden of the mosque and sometimes the minarets. That is an example of that. 
Sacramonte, which translates to Sacred Mount, is where it is said that flamenco was born. The best way to get there is to go up by bus lines number 31, 32 and 35 from El Paseo de los Tristes or from Plaza Nueva. Here you can enjoy many of the flamenco shows. Gypsies settled here in Sacramonte many years ago and built cave houses in the rocks. It is said that they developed their own style of dance, flamenco. The caves of Sacramonte are one of its main tourist attractions. They were carved out by the Romani people who inhabited this area back in the 16th century. Today, it's possible to see what these dwellings looked like several centuries ago by visiting the Sacramonte Caves Museum. The 11 caves that can be visited on the grounds of the museum are all originals, and each one was once a dwelling, although depending on the economic means of each family, different caves might be used as workshops or stables. From the centre of Granada, the easiest way to get there is to take the C2 bus, which is located in the Plaza Nueva. Unlike other Spanish locations, you can get a free tapa with every drink order in Granada. It's a tradition that goes way back, and so don't forget to ask. Finally, the cathedral and its 15 chapels, which you must visit whilst in Granada. The foundations were laid on the old main mosque of the city. The cathedral was supposed to have two 80-metre towers, but only one was built due to subsidence noticed after building the first tower, probably due to its location so close to the river on sandy soil. It is amazing to walk through the interior of the Cathedral of Granada and enjoy every detail. Before we go, as Granada is also a university city with over 60,000 students, depending when you visit, you may want to find a hotel in a more quiet area, but still central to everything. We made a video of an excellent hotel that is clean, comfortable, within walking distance to the cathedral and with amazing themed rooms, dining area and halls. You can see the video here on our YouTube channel. Bye for now. Thanks for watching our videos and if you like them, please subscribe as it really helps us. Gracias.